Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to part two of my Portal Stories Mel playthrough. We are deep in the underground segments here, and um, we are on our way to Aegis's uh, chamber. So, need to remember what I am going to be doing here. You can continue solving these tests. Need to remember what it is I need to do. We can push ourselves across there. We could probably go up to there. And this one was quite neat. Didn't remember what it was I was meant to be doing, if I'm honest. Oh, hold on. Yes, I do. So I can push this through to here. Grab the cube here. Why is saving like really big? Last night it was like really tiny in the corner of the screens and stuff. Today it's really big, really predominant in that um, in that side of the do free watsy thingy majiggy. Yes, that thing. So then we do this. Push it over to there. Actually, I just made a grave mistake. No, I have not. I was just thinking there, maybe I've made a mistake pushing the cube off the button too early, but... Nope, we got it. Hey, Mel. You have no idea how hard it is to move around here. Anyway. Remember those old turrets from all the way at the bottom of the facility? Those guys have no security systems installed. It should be really easy to reprogram them to destroy Aegis instead of humans. If we go down to a turret production line, we might be able to produce friendly turrets. Creating friendly turrets. Now where have we heard, seen that one before? Uh, okay, so this one. Oh, this was a pretty neat puzzle from what I remember. This was a pretty neat puzzle. I think this one was one of the hardest puzzles. Wasn't there another laser catcher somewhere? I thought there was another laser catcher somewhere. Maybe there is. Good evening, Aaron. How the devil are you tonight? Ah, uh, okay. So, 
We're on a late meal because you didn't eat lunch? Wow. To be fair, I haven't had eaten a meal since main meal since lunch either. Um, but it's uh, I've sort of been grazing today because it's been my daughter's birthday, so we had like a picnic lunch and things and cake and stuff. So I haven't really myself eaten a main meal tonight. Plus, I went to donate blood donation tonight as well. So yeah. I too have not had a main meal as such. Okay. What you preferring me? What you preferring? What you preparing me for anything good? Uh, Aaron, why anything good? What are yummy treats are in store for Aaron tonight? Let's take the cube onto that button. What did I? Where's that? Where did I miss? Where's that ant line? Oh. Oh, it's because it's in the overgrown, destroyed kind of theme, I guess. Um, in effect, that's the the panels have dropped off, which is fair enough. Didn't I remember way back? Didn't Irk make a map where you had to reconstruct the ant line to? I'm sure he made a map. You had to reconstruct the ant line for it to work, which was a pretty cool map. He did, yes. Okay, well. Okay, I see what I need to do here. I don't need to put that down there at all. I need to put that across to the other side. Um, Alright, so. Let us... So it's back over here. Uh, welcome as well, Megist. Hope you're well. No worries for not being here for the start. It's all good. Sorry I kept you waiting for so long. Alright, so yeah, then we do that. That's going to point down to there, and then we can do finish that off, which is fine. Yeah, like this. But then I need to, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to take this ride back over to here. I think what I should have also done is I should bring the other cube through here as well.
I don't do that anymore because I can see that surface now that is disabled. So that becomes that. And that. Well done. Test subjects rated that as one of the hardest tests in this track. I heard that it was made by two particularly cool scientists. But I guess um I guess uh, he didn't want to finish that line off. Obviously jumped down too far and uh, he wasn't interested in talking to me anymore. You spent hours on them? I'm still sorting through all those files. There's terabytes of emails. I'm trying to find something that can help us. Ah, did you know you can increase the size of your core in just two easy steps? Lol. Okay, so we need to get that into there, don't we? And to do that... We don't do that, because that would be cheating. Do we take this over here? Could have done that and that. Okay. So we can get that in here. Gosh darn it. Okay, so now I have a cube in here. Now... We can... Get across here. Some of the golden berries require glitches. Oh, great. Also, this funnel track. This funnel track is something. Uh, I decided to take a break from it for a bit, Nika, because um, I was just spending all my time trying to do it. Um, that reflection berry, though, I'm literally, like, no word of a lie, I am right at the end. I got, like, two screens from the end on it. Um, but, yeah, I just thought it would be better if I kind of just took a break. I had a bit of a break from it for the time being. But I will return to it. That doesn't help. That doesn't help a bit. Did I get the winged golden white? Not in J in Celeste. Do you mean? Um. Ha. Huh. Well, that's awkward. Uh, no, I can't get some of past, um, there's a couple of screens in particular, I think, when you get to the, you know where the first checkpoint is, um, that screen is an absolute arse. So 
I can see through. Yeah, it's the ones where you've got to. Um, there's the. You've got to do a spike jump. It's, it's the first checkpoint. So when you get to like the first checkpoint on City, um, and you have to do the spike jump over. Um, I can get past that screen, but then it's the next one. You kind of go down a little section. You've got to climb up a wall, and then you kind of got to do a spike jump um, to get enough momentum to get across. But that's that was pretty tough. I can't remember what I need to do here. And that's problematic. Hey, Fumbly, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. How is your day going so far? Bright and early for you this morning. So I can do that, but what, what benefit? There's no benefit for that at all. Um, I think, as well, just to keep you guys up to date, after we finish Mel... Um, I may do this, the Celeste mod next, just for the simple reason that I already have it installed and ready to go. So, um, watch this space. I don't know how to do it though. I don't know if I'm gonna like spend all the time doing the gold berries straight, uh, like the berries straight away, or whether or not I'm just gonna like actually try and play the game first, or what I'm gonna do. So I haven't fully made up my mind yet. Yeah, I've I've already noticed that the the load times on it are insanely quick. Okay, I've lost my direction here. Maybe I need to start again and um, maybe I start again here. Maybe I've made a mistake already. Um, but they it eludes me at the minute of what I need to do. So let's head back to the beginning. Oh, okay. That sounds like a, a good plan. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm being stupid. This is the piece of the puzzle I was missing. Okay, so we have that, we have that, now we go across here with a cube. Question, did I need to swap the cubes? Hmm. Possibly, but we'll soon find out if that was the right or wrong thing to do.
Now I think I resolve this. Alright, so I think I resolve this part and then I swap the funnels to go back. I think is what I do here. I do like how much like detail there is on this chamber with like all the destroyed stuff going on. Alright, so now we go through to here. And then we can respawn this cube. Take through to here. And we're done. Excellent, yeah. Bit of an oversight there as to um, that other cube. So, apparently, the records on these computers are kind of severely out of date. I think I can recompile a new version of this testing track sequence. Ah, this one. Uh, wait, so are all this are all the mechanics in this in the game as well, or in the mod as well? Um, because that would just be insane okay there is a way down there there is a way down there now walk we'll across here. Okay, that cube spawns. How does that cube spawn? Sure, it's not meant to be like that, but that's how the cube spawns. Look, does it auto respawn? Yes, it does. In which case, we can go through here, set a portal around about there, jump back through, grab the cube. Yeah, I, I did know it was like the actual speedrunning mod. Uh, I, I was aware of that. That's right. Now, I think... Yes. Okay. Now, I need to... Okay, I think I need to go back. No, I know what I need to do. That's right. Okay, so we go through to here. Sure, we do like this. 
we swap the portal round. We can swap it round, can we? Ha. Huh. All right, change plan. We can do maybe. Maybe we can do something like this. I thought for sure that there was a... Try and break things and go out of bounds. Oh, wait a sec. I don't, honestly, I don't, I'm pretty sure I haven't played Mel since it first came out. And that's a long while ago. Okay, so the two cubes are there and there. So we'll go and get this one first. And then we can get this one. There isn't a fizzler there, is there? No. I'm going to put this one on the cube as well. <laughs> it would have been funny if I broke right. it. A quick update. Compiling maps apparently it takes quite some time. At least the turrets from old after are still coming up. Just a pity the toxic goo is coming up too. Was that some sort of reference to like hammer mapping? And that it takes some time to compile maps in hammer? Alright, onwards we go. surface seems like Megast likes this song okay Well, that ain't right, is it? That ain't right, is it? I think that is the idea, though. Send the cube across, maybe, while I'm up there? It's another option. Okay, I think I lost the cube in the goo. I don't think I was quite stood right on the... Uh, oh, I didn't think I had my portals quite right on here. So we'll, we'll try this bit again.
Do I need the funnel? Um, my goodness. I think I still need the funnel, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know what I should have done. What a dumbass. Again. What a dumbass. Third time lucky. Just to go back to your question though, Mika, about how long is it ago is it since I played this. Um I just kind of feel like I'm with with this, um even though it's like advanced mode, it's kind of more the puzzles are more geared around like normal portal kind of playing as such, if that makes sense. Which you kind of think makes things a little bit easier. I mean, also when you when you've played through something once, though, it does make things a lot easier. Because you you know even even if it's been a while since you played through it, you've still got a relatively good idea of what you do need to do. So you can kind of just like rush through it a little more. And when you think through things, you kind of your mind kind of starts to remember little bits and pieces. That makes sense. at the production facility. I've been able to find a rail a bit further on. I'll meet you up ahead. Good. You should find a way out of this test chamber before your portal gun's black hole violently implodes. Uh, I, I mean, uh, anyway, beyond one of these walls are catwalk. We'll be going through the way to storage cube manufacturing. It's now or never. Organic threat presence show on scanners. I don't think you can say it. I don't think you can solve that chamber, can you? Is it solvable? Uh, Actually, no, that you can solve it. Cubes are actually able to press buttons. It's uh, some vital testing. A cube that can't press buttons? Uh, it's a total waste. Sorry, 
Yeah, I, I got that completely wrong. You can solve that chamber. I remember that. Yeah, as Fumbly just said, I remember the achievement. The door if it opens. Uh, don't stay too long, though. Those doors will close with 5,000 pounds of pressure. Ha! <laughs> There's an achievement for that. Didn't realise. So the reason I wanted to try that, which is because obviously you say the doors will close with 5,000 pounds of pressure, is that normally with um, workshop maps, you can prevent the door from shutting if you stand in it. But, um, hey, there you go. Today I learnt. Your achievement obtained. I guess these are the faulty cubes. Did you know that after science weighted storage cubes have to be bulletproof? I did know that, yes. The human offices are up those stairs. There are no cameras in this part of the facility, so Aegis won't be able to trap us. <laughs> Still, we've got to take him out if you want to leave this place. Anyways, if Hang in there, baby. Alright, we're not going to spend too much time looking at these areas. Oh, there you are. I thought maybe somehow you managed to get lost. Anyway, we're almost at Aegis' part of the facility. Uh, mind your head here. Uh, those metal plates will hurt if they hit you. Can you believe it takes six of those plates to make one cube? Ridiculous. I went the wrong way. Let's go this way. I assume this is the right way. Seems to be right. Yo! What's going on, Red Silencer? Welcome there. along. Hope you well. What an impressive sight. been cut off here but I think I can help just give me a moment yes that worked let's get going this reminds me of the day I had careful careful there's a hole in the floor ahead there's a hole in the floor just a bit further and we can get to the mainframe rooms dear Virgil dear a Virgil lever near that door to open it up okay Uh, so this is what I'm calling my Ready master now? portal quest. Um, just basically going to play through, or trying to play through, all of, all of, or as many Portal One and Portal Two mods as I can. Um, we've already cleared Portal One, and we started Portal Two with Tag, um, Thing with Time Machine, and then last night we started off uh, Portal Story. Now we're going to conclude it tonight, and then moving on to some uh, of the non-mainstream uh, mods uh, following this. I so, uh, yeah. I, I couldn't have done any of this without... Fumbly the coolest map of Bumbly. That is some there accolade the right there. Houses. Probably my battery backup would have run out in a few days. So, thanks. So, uh... Ages. Let's get this done. Whatever happens, I believe in you. Really. I believe One in you. I believe in... One in central hub. Countermeasures and in order to get to the Aegis core, we need to turn on the power, unlock the doors, and replace the turrets. Once that's done, we should have a clear shot at Aegis. Let's get going. And not do that, we just need to run through this as soon as quickly as we can. That seems like the right thing to do. Do I have to double up there what that was on there? It kind of looked like a um It kind of looked like it was like mini pedestal buttons for some reason. At first, like very quick, quick glance. Every vent in there is filled with those turrets. We pulled up every last one of them a long time ago. Play the flingless version of what? Red Sciencer. Mel, 
I'm reading that the generator is a famous version of Mel. The only way that the security systems can come online is to turn on those generators. But according to my research, the manual startup is over in the control room for generator two. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. That was a bad idea. The security systems kicked in. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry, find a way to turn that other generator on and then get out of here. Thank you all. It's going to direction. Bypass does work, doesn't it? <laughs> Good work. That's the first part. The security systems are now online. Oh, wait. I didn't think this through, did I? I don't remember what to do. I think, yeah, this smash the thingy majiggy. We run over here. No babies, of course. No babies. And all right, now that we have the power turned back on, we need to go to the security room overlooking the bridge to the Aegis core. Now that the security doors have unlocked, we should be able to get there. Oh, I don't need to go. Yeah, I go back this way now, don't I? Yep, that's right. I think I do. Oh, sorry. I see. I see what you mean. I missed the comment. How are you doing there, Red? Hope all is well. Hope all is well and you're keeping safe. Chilling. Good to hear. Ah, uh, security access. I think he said next to me. Yeah, that's right. All right. So um, I think that might not be as easy as I once thought. Uh, Aegis has done quite a bit of redecorating on these catwalks. Good thing you got a portal gun. Scanner's distance organic. Alright. I think there's a way into some of these areas, isn't there? You can get traps in this area. I seem to remember you can get into some of these um, some of these chambers. Execution number one failed. Preparing evil ambush. Watch it. He's got another one coming. And I think this one took out the catwalks before. Avoid those turrets and get to the security room. Oh, no fun. When you get to the lever, if you go back before pulling it, you're stuck. Solve the test. Do I win the prize? Aren't I stuck here? Aren't I stuck here? Is that good English? I don't think it is. Am I stuck here? Let's just kill myself. What I should have done is should have gone through the reverse funnel. Um, Execution number one failed. Preparing. Watch it. He's got another one coming. 
And I think this one took out the cap box before. Avoid those turrets and get to the security room. Oh, there was that one there, though, isn't there? Yes, there is. Disco textures going on. And now Too. It's low enough. Yeah, we should be able to get in here. Although I'm not really sure this is the right way to go. Just, just, just putting that out there. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. Did I voice Henry's cat? No. I don't remember where to go from here. Try over here. Yes, let's try over here. That looks perfect. I know you said Henry's cat, but the only thing I can think of right now is Charlie. Charlie says. Charlie says, always tell your mummy before going Great. somewhere. There. there should be. Three hundred and fifty percent. Henry's cat. I'm trying. I know that, but I'm trying to think. Remember how we pumped up the old turrets? This is where they might get useful. Head to the manufacturing line. Okay. Henry's cat. Here's the plan. We've got to take the turret production line down. So there's about three ways I know to do this. The first should be easy and works most of the time. So I love the way he says it works most of the time. The turret out without the mod. So that didn't work. Computers got a template, uh, which leads us to solution number two. Use one of the old turrets to overwrite the template. I can reprogram it to not shoot you. Can I not just use you know, the chair? Scratch that idea. Apparently, there are no diversity vents here, which means I can't bring one in. I guess pumping up those yes, Mika. Was a total waste of yes, time. Mika. Lovely. So, third idea we gotta override the targeting system on these ones manually. There's a targeting control room, it's nearby. Just be ready to run. I'll get the door open. So, a bit of background on that song. Um, Mika, I don't know if you knew, but that was actually a marketing campaign, a public safety marketing campaign here in England, um, way back in the 70s or the 80s, with Charlie the Cat and his friend.
Uh, let's do the purple surface. Oh, it's back there. I see it now. Yeah, Mika. Um, I don't know if you knew that. Isn't that sub um, John Kutsky? Is that where you got that one from? Oh, you have read the story behind it. <laughs> there you are. I knew all that track running would do you good someday. Look, that wood model is what's causing the turret to shoot at humans. If you replace it with something else, they'll shoot that instead. Oh my, you're clever. Now the turrets will target the server banks instead of you. If we wait a little bit, all the turrets in this part of the facility should be replaced, allowing you to finally... I recognize the um, keeping the rave alive from substance streams. Stand in front of the model. One of two things will happen. The first, they won't shoot you. The second, uh, well, it, it shouldn't come to that. Just, just trust me. Right, that works. Uh, I knew that would work. Uh, totally knew it would work. Of course, you well, sound so anyway, confident. The turrets are ours now. Now get back to the elevator room again. Time to bring the fight to him. Alright. Let's prepare for the final battle, shall we? Yeah, Subs has got the... Um, I don't know if he's still got it. He had the sti that emote as a sticker. Yeah. I know, right, Fumbly? Talk about security, eh? Um. Is there any danger of this door opening, or...? Did I forget to do something? Do something? Is there another way out here? To be fair though, family, if you if we're completely honest about things, I think the way after you went about a lot of stuff is very questionable. I guess I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Seems a bit silly, but okay. Oh, forgot to mention, those turrets were automatically replaced by the system as it read that there was an update to the turrets' targeting systems. Every update, they get replaced to make sure the turrets are the most up-to-date they can be, and to prevent hacking. Alrighty then, it is time to go and defeat, or take on, sorry, Aegis, 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 Tomato, Tomato, however you want to pronounce it. Oh, that's I remember. the emergency exit elevator. Once we shut down Aegis, we should be able to use it to get you out of here. All right, Fumbly, thanks for coming by, saying hi. Enjoy your day. have to do it without me. Don't worry though, I'll be watching from back here and help you if needed. Alright, Mel, this is it. This is Aegis's server room. Get ready for this. It won't give up without a fight. Organic target detected in quarantine operations center. Preparing localized execution procedure. Well, it seems that he's booting up his security. He doesn't seem to know about the turrets yet. He'll be in for quite a shock. Right, this way first. Careful, the water is electrified. 
Look at the damage that pumping up the water did. Almost a quarter of his servers are completely destroyed. Not bad for a simple maintenance core. A anyways, try to find a way to the back of the room. There's a turret dispenser over there. A turret dispenser, of course. Look up. There's a portal surface above the water pipe. I know. You should be able to use that to cross over to the other side. So what about those ones? Deploying archives turrets. That doesn't sound good. Oh, I need to put the water out. We do something after this. Um, possibly not. Maybe it's just at the beginning of the stream. Um, had a pretty busy day today. Uh, it was my it's my daughter's birthday today, so I've had like guests and things around so I've been seeing a lot of people it's been a crazy day I had like picnic and stuff and doing stuff for my daughter and then I kind of get, went to give blood earlier as well so um, my arm's a little bit sore so I don't really want to do too much today so I'll probably finish up Mel and um, probably be it for the day target lost you destroyed them all. I can unlock the other side now. Uncompromised turrets found. Deploying archives turrets. That doesn't sound good. Ah, uh, no, there won't be a stream tomorrow. The old targeting parameters. Ah, why did I pump those useless things up? Watch yourself. Uh oh. Searching. Don't they shoot through there? I seem to remember. Our uh, next stream will be Saturday night, although I'm not sure what I'll be streaming, whether I'll be playing games or if I'll be doing a uh, DJ set. I don't know yet. I'm not quite sure. Because of um, work schedules and stuff for my family and my, my, my wife especially. Um, I can't stream it every day. Are you still there? Nap time. Is anyone there? Help. So my question is... Why doesn't... There you are. Uh-oh. Why doesn't... It shoot these ones. Are you still there? Resting. Could you come over here? I guess I stepped in the first one there. Searching. Did it? Oh, hold on. I think I'm done this side. Actually. I'm trying to do something I don't need to do. I think I... I don't think I need to... Turret, I can't take turret on me. That's the that question. Program, draining oxygen. Lethal oxygen concentration in D minus four minutes. Okay, Mel. This is it. You have just a few minutes before all the oxygen is gone. If you can't shut him down before he shuts you down, the entire facility will flood with the toxic goo that he's still pumping up. This bit was quite a struggle the first time I played this. I remember like doing, trying to do some like weird flinging stuff. Blown up. There are a few more upstairs. 
Go destroy them too. Get upstairs. What are you waiting for? Keep moving those turrets around. I'm pretty sure I have to do like a kind of fling thing here. So I want to put him there and go through here. Mel, we don't have much time left. Hurry. And then we do that. And we take it through to here. An entire facility depends on you. I don't want to have to pick it up every time though, when I could do it before without picking the turret up. The turrets in the room on the other side remain. You'll have to fling yourself in there. Ah, uh, there we go. No, no, no. Thank you. servers on the side of it though it looks like some real like old i know it was like meant to be built like way back when because it's got the old um it's got the real old aperture logo on it but just just look at these things here just got like servers stuck on the side of this thing there's a hatch on him you can open to manually shut it down from the inside designs man Designs, future designs set in the past are always quite comical to uh, see. Find your step. That seems to be the user control interface. You can control its entire functions from here. I can walk you through some of what you need to do. First things first, stop the toxic goo from pumping up. We should be able to contain it in test shaft Lima whiskey. Oh wait, Mel. Before shutting this thing down completely, remember that there was a third target it was trying to take out? Well, we're not three, unless you can tell me otherwise. Try to see what you can do. Type um, ping underscore target underscore list. Am, am I reading this right? Was this thing trying to destroy her? It was targeting GLaDOS? Mel. What have we done? GLaDOS killed every scientist in this facility before being destroyed by a tenacious test subject. This thing, Aegis. It was trying to finish the job and flood the facility to destroy her. Mel, we might just have given GLaDOS a chance to get back in power. How could we have done that? Why didn't I see it sooner? Well, if you want to get out of here, now is your best chance. You don't want to be around when she comes back online. You should shut down Aegis now. 
needs a passcode? It should be around here somewhere. Take a look I around. I what it could be. <laughs> 2056. I've seen that number around a lot in this place. Strange. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Aegis is in its final shutdown sequence. Mel, come back to the lift. I can get you out of this facility. Okay, Mel. The elevator is in lockdown until you put your portal device in the incinerator over there. Uh, Mel, I, I just wanted to say something. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, if it weren't for you, I would have drowned at the offices in the junkyard. I'm so sorry about lying to you in the beginning. It, it was a pretty bad Cave Johnson impression. <laughs> anyway, this thing should take you out of here, back to your normal life. Well, whatever you can call normal by this point. I don't know exactly what's out there, but it should be better than what's down here. So, just enjoy the rest of your life. Look, the elevator is here. See you later, Mel. I forgot just how awesome like the ending animation and cutscene whole thing is on Port Stories Mel that it's such a good job with it. That combined with the soundtrack is just absolutely phenomenal. saying the end is never the end is never the end the real question is what happened to Aperture Labs no it's not the question at all we know what happened to Aperture Labs it's quite weird though that the fact that um, like at the end of Portal 2 you kind of like come out to a shack in the middle of a field whereas in Mel you're kind of like in the midst of this like big facility considering it's like all meant to be the same kind of thing. But um, without a shadow of a doubt they did such a fantastic job on this mod. And out of the three mainstream mods, I think a lot of people will agree this is probably the best of the mainstream mods. Um, clearly it doesn't compare to anything like Aperture Tag and um, Thinking with Time Machine. And quite rightly so, they won quite, I think they won quite a lot of um, awards for this as well. So, um, yeah, well deserved. Definitely, definitely well deserved. Just waiting for DA. I know I keep teasing Aaron about it. Maybe we'll play it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, if only I could play it tomorrow. 
Did we find the rainbow core? Just like seeing that in the credits there. Yeah, really hoping that, you know, that Desolation and DA can meet everybody's expectations and can be concreted in here, like with Port Stories, Mel. Um, you know, there's still a lot of work going on behind the scenes, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a, a fantastic, fantastic mod. Um, both of them are. I don't know what's going on so much with Desolation, but I am involved behind the scenes with DA. And um, like I say, I, I, I promise you good things are coming with uh, Destroyed Aperture. For sure. that Aegis was uh, saving Chell, knowing full well that uh, if Radoth ever comes back online, if, if Gladys ever came back online, um, Chell would be the only one and the only hope of shutting her down and defeating her once more. Quite interesting though about that, that... Um, um, Wheatley kind of comes across like he's the one that's waking her up, whereas this Mel seems to um, lead into Portal, Portal 2 by saying that uh, Aegis is the one that um, wakes Chell up. But, um, you know, minor things. Who knows? But uh, there we go, guys. That is the end of um, Portal Stories Mel with Gross Destroyed Aperture Mika. Um, we have got a timetable. I don't know if it's been made public yet, so I don't want to um, say anything just in case it hasn't. But there is a loose plan in place, I will say. Things are coming along nicely. And the um, best thing I can say is go check out the website, destroyedapertry.com, or um, just await the announcements. I don't want to be... I don't want to announce anything. Say anything I'm not meant to say. Aaron's not here, so... Um, my mouth is sealed on that one. But guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Like I say, next time we're back with Portal 2, we will start off playing Portal 2. Sorry. The Celeste mod. Yes, we will be playing the Celeste mod as for, for our first of our sort of like branch away mods here. Um, the reason I'm going to play that first is A, I've already got it installed on my machine. But B, I thought, you know, let's play that mod because it's pretty much core Portal 2 just with some different mechanics. So um, I thought it'd be good to play that one first and then we branch out. So if I'm streaming this on the Master Quest on Saturday, we're playing that Saturday night. If not, um, we will be back with that uh, week Wednesday. So week tomorrow will be um, the start of the Celeste mod or Saturday night. So uh, stay tuned to socials. Um, if it's not a portal stream on Saturday, it will be a DJ stream. Uh, I just haven't decided what I'm going to do about that yet. But thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Like I said, I really appreciate the support, as always. Until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.